A husband and wife were golfing when suddenly the wife asked, Honey, if I died, would you get married again? The husband said, No, sweetie. The woman said, I'm sure you would. So the man said, Okay, I would. Then the woman asked, Would you let her sleep in our bed? And the man replied, Yeah, I guess so. Then the wife asked, Would you let her use my golf clubs? And the husband replied, No, she's left-handed. So you've all probably seen these commercials for the function drugs. They say a possible side effect could be an on lasting for four hours, and if that happens, call your doctor. I say, hey buddy, if that happens, don't call your doctor, call me. A police officer is sitting in a cafe next to an elderly couple. Suddenly, he hears the grandfather persuading the grandmother to go have in the same place where they did it for the first time 70 years ago. The police officer decides to follow them, just to make sure the old goats are all right. The grandpa takes the grandma around a corner, leans her against a fence, and they unexpectedly start having incredibly wild, passionate of unprecedented power, completely incomprehensible for their age. The police officer, shocked, watches the whole scene until the end, then approaches them and, stammering, asks what their secret is. Son, they reply. Seventy years ago, this fence wasn't electric. An old man married a young woman. A year later, the old man brought her to the hospital to give birth. The doctor said, Well, you are impressive. The old man proudly replied, You always have to keep the engine running. A year later, he brings his wife to give birth again. The doctor, surprised, said, Well, old man, you sure can. The old man proudly replied, You have to keep the engine running. A year later, his wife gives birth again. The doctor tells the old man, Hey, old man, change the oil. The baby is black. A girl was invited by her friend to go for a drive. As she was leaving, her mother said, Look, when you guys are coming back, surely the car will break down, and in the local hotel, there will be only one single room available. Of course, your friend will offer you to sleep on the bed, and he will settle in the chair. But be careful. Otherwise, when you fall asleep, he will pounce on you and disgrace you, me and your entire family. The next morning, the girl returns home. Mom, thank you for warning me. Everything was exactly as you predicted. Only I to prevent him from disgracing us all, allowed him to lie on the bed, and I settled in the chair. And when he fell asleep, I pounced on him and disgraced him, his mother, and his entire family. A little girl and boy are fighting about the differences between the th and which one is better. Finally, the boy drops his pants and says, Here's something I have that you'll never have. The little girl is pretty upset by this, since it is clearly true, and runs home crying. A while later, she comes running back with a smile on her face. She drops her pants and says, My mommy says that with one of these, I can have as many of those as I want. A nice, calm, and respectable lady went into the pharmacy, right up to the pharmacist, looked straight into his eyes and said, I would like to buy some cyanide. The pharmacist asked, Why in the world do you need cyanide? The lady replied, I need it to poison my husband. The pharmacist's eyes got big and he exclaimed, Lord have mercy, I can't give you cyanide to kill your husband. That's against the law. I'll lose my license. They'll throw both of us in jail. All kinds of bad things will happen. Absolutely not. You cannot have any cyanide. The lady reached into her purse and pulled out a picture of her husband in bed with the pharmacist's wife. The pharmacist looked at the picture and replied, Well now, that's different. You didn't tell me you had a prescription. A woman constantly keeps sneezing and goes to see the doctor. She tells him, Doctor, I constantly keep sneezing, and every time I sneeze, I have an... The doctor asks, what are you doing for it? 
The woman replies, sniffing pepper. A gay guy walks into a pharmacy with his suppository prescription and approaches the front counter. He hands the prescription to the pharmacist, and after confirming the prescription, the pharmacist asks him, Okay, sir, what kind of pills would you like? The guy looks around and over the shoulder of the pharmacist and spots something he wants. He points at the wall and says, I'll take that kind right there. The pharmacist looks at what he is pointing at and says, Sorry, sir, but you can't have that. It's our fire extinguisher. A woman is at home when she hears someone knocking at her door. She goes to the door, opens it, and sees a man standing there. He asks the lady, Do you have a vagina? She slams the door in disgust. The next morning she hears a knock at the door. It's the same man, and he asks the same question to the woman. Do you have a vagina? She slams the door again. Later that night, when her husband gets home, she tell him what has happened for the last two days. The husband tells his wife in a loving and concerned voice, Honey, I am taking an off tomorrow so as to be home, just in case this guy shows up again. The next morning, they hear a knock at the door, and both ran for the door. The husband whispers to the wife, Honey, I'm going to hide behind the door and listen, and if it is the same guy, I want you to answer yes to the question, because I want to see where he's going with this. She nods yes to her husband and opens the door. Sure enough, the same fellow is standing there, he asks. Do you have a v Yes, I do, says the lady. The man replies, Good, would you mind telling your husband to leave my wife's alone and start using yours? A man comes to a 24-hour pharmacy in the evening, puts his hand on the counter, and starts slowly drumming his fingers on the counter. A young pharmacist girl asks, Do you need hand cream? No, I need five Viagra pills. I have five girls coming over tonight. He bought the pills and went home. In the early morning, the pharmacy door opens and the same man, barely alive, crawls in, crawls to the counter with his last strength, throws his hand on the counter. The young pharmacist, remembering his previous visit, asks, Do you need another five Viagra pills? No, hand cream. The girls didn't show up. A mother is in the kitchen making dinner for her family when her daughter walks in. Mother, where do babies come from? The mother thinks for a few seconds and says, Well, dear, Mommy and Daddy fall in love and get married. One night, they go into their bedroom. They kiss and hug and have... The daughter looks puzzled, so the mother continues. That means the daddy puts his... The mommy's... That's how you get a baby, honey. The child seems to comprehend. Oh, I see. But the other night when I came into your room, you had Daddy's... In your mouth. What do you get when you do that? Jewelry, my dear. Jewelry. There were these 20 priests and 50 young men on a ship. The ship was about to sink. One priest said to another priest, There is only one lifeboat, and this ship is about to sink in about five minutes. What should we do with the young men? The other priest looked at him and said, To which the first priest said, You think we're going to have enough time? Jack at the grocery store asks the lady to show him where the cookies are. The lady takes him to the bathroom and takes off her shirt and bra and show her... Jack said, Why you did you show me that? I wanted a bag of cookies. I didn't mean those cookie. Then, and the lady said, Then, why didn't you say that you wanted the first cookie, meaning not the second cookie meaning? Then Jack said, Why did you think I wanted to see your grocery store? the zoo acquired a rare female gorilla species. After a few weeks, the veterinarian determined that she was in heat and needed a male. The zoo administration was in search of a male, but to no avail. Then someone noticed the cage cleaner, John, who was known as a big womanizer. The administration decided to ask John for help. Would he sleep with the gorilla for a hundred dollars? John asked for time to think. 
The next day, he said he agreed, but under three conditions. First, no kissing. Second, no relationship with any potential offspring from the act. The administrator quickly agreed to these two conditions and asked John what his third condition was. I need another week to find a hundred bucks somewhere. Two women are discussing life in the retirement village they live in with their spouses and how they like it. One woman tells the other that she misses it, though, to which the other replies that her and her hubby still have it whenever she wants. The first woman asks how, and the second woman says, every so often when he's in the bathroom getting ready for bed, she gets naked and lays on the bed holding her legs up in the air, so when he comes out, he can't help but have s. The first woman decides to try this a couple of weeks later. Her husband is in the bathroom getting ready for bed, so she gets naked, lays down and struggles to get one leg up and then the other, as she's holding them shakily. Her husband comes out and exclaims, Good Lord, woman, put in your teeth and brush your hair. You're starting to look like an a**hole. At school, little Johnny's classmate tells him that most adults are hiding at least one dark secret. So it's very easy to blackmail them by saying, I know the whole truth. Little Johnny decides to go home and try it out. Johnny's mother greets him at home and he tells her, I know the whole truth. His mother quickly hands him $20 and says, Just don't tell your father. Quite pleased, the boy waits for his father to get home from work and greets him with, I know the whole truth. The father promptly hands him $40 and says, Please don't say a word to your mother. Very pleased, the boy is on his way to school the next day when he sees the mailman at his front door. The boy greets him by saying, I know the whole truth. The mailman immediately drops the mail, opens his arms, and says, Then come give your daddy a great big hug. Once upon a time, there was a king who thought that his officers were going to try to have with his queen. So he made all of his officers put on tight pants and told them that if anyone got a their head would be chopped off. So he lined them up, and the queen came to the first one and took off her gown. He got a so that was the end of him. Then she came to the next one and took off her gown. He got a b and that was the end of him. This went on until she came to the last one and took off gown, then her underthings, and he didn't get a b So she took off his clothes and started rolling on the floor with him. Half an hour went by, then an hour. Finally, after two hours, the king came in to see what was happening. And as soon as the king came in, the guy got a A driver is returning from a business trip, sees a gypsy woman hitchhiking. He thinks, should he pick her up or not? If you pick her up, she'll talk your ear off. If you don't, she'll curse you. Well, he thinks, let me pick her up. Let her talk. The gypsy woman says to him, dear, golden, diamond, let me tell your fortune. I don't need my fortune told. I know what was. I'll find out what will be. Well, then I'll tell you three truths. Well, speak. The first truth. The moon shines but does not warm. True. True. The goat does not shave his beard. True. True. And the third truth. Your wife Mary goes to the neighbor. It can't be. It's not true. I don't believe it. Believe it or don't believe it. The driver comes home, his wife meets him, sets the table, puts a bottle. They drank, ate, and he started telling her what the gypsy woman had told him. He told the first truth, Mary says. Oh, she told the truth. He told the second truth, Mary agrees again. But I won't tell you the third truth, Mary. She pestered him. Tell me, tell me. He says, and the third truth. The neighbor John has such a tiny p Well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.